Welcome to the Waverley Basketball Association for and the uh, Waverley Basketball Stadium for today's double header. This time today it's the uh, Victorian Youth Championship uh, Waverley team versus the Sandringham Sabres. Uh, and a little bit later at 2.30 today we'll be seeing the, uh, the top of the table matchup of the Waverley Falcons champ men versus Ringwood. Uh, and of course, for those of you who uh, have been following the, uh, the fate of the Falcons and the Ringwood Hawks, I'll know that uh, last night was a bit of a, bit of a wake-up call to both teams. Uh, what happened with the, uh, the Falcons is that they were jumped by McKinnon in the first half of their game and uh, eventually ended up going down by two points to, uh, to McKinnon uh, right in the last dying seconds of the game, whereas almost a mirror image over at uh, Ringwood, at Ringwood's home, home uh, court, Maroonda, where Werribee proved to be extremely competitive against, against Ringwood and, in, in fact, uh, came in very, very close to them. And uh, today's, game looks, today's game looks to be a, a cracker of a game as well as, um, as uh, we... Uh, we are just about to get underway here with uh, with uh, the uh, youth league teams. Both of these teams at the bottom of the, the Watson Conference, uh, they need to get a, a few wins on the board if they're going to escape relegation because, of course, this year is the first year that the relegation back into the, the other under-23 youth league uh, divisions will be in place. So... Um, Joining me today is Ming and uh, and Ben. Ben from the under 16 twos. G'day, Ben. How are you going there? Yeah, good. Good. How did you go on Friday night, mate? Uh, we won. That's good. So where does that put you on your ladder? Second. Second on the ladder. So you're <coughs> travelling quite okay. A little bit better than the youth league men guys at the moment because they're <laughs> sitting they're sitting uh, sixth on the ladder at the moment with uh, Sandringham seven. And of course, in the Sandringham team, we've got a couple of ex Waverley players as well, certainly, or Waverley uh, connections. Mark Shivers, their coach, uh, was in fact the coach of our champ women for a number of years. And Luke Hughes played most of his junior basketball up until under, under 18s. He played here at Waverley as well. Luke moving from Melbourne uh, this year over to Sandringham. So uh, we'll be uh, underway in the uh, next 10 seconds. And uh, we'll get uh, get some comments from the lads uh, as as we go. Okay, so as as the uh, refs call the uh, call the uh, players out onto the court. And uh, we look, uh, we're good to go. Refs, uh, refs are giving us the thumbs up. And we're ready for the game to start. And we're underway with uh, Waverley winning the tap. And the first basket, no, almost the first basket goes to Waverley. Rebounded by Sandingham coming back down the court. Quickly, they're running a high-low set, Waverley in a man. And the two-point attempt from the point guard, Matt Kreese, is no good as, as Waverley picks up the, uh, the spoils. Brings the ball back quickly through heavily. Waverley drives, and there's a travel called. So, uh, Ming is one of the uh, Box Hill students. He's, yeah. uh, tell us a little bit about what you're doing at Box Hill then. Uh, apparently I'm, I'm doing a diploma of uh, sport management and event slash events. And yeah, it's, uh, it's going well. You know, um, um, next few weeks there's going to be a uh, Trev tournament. So, there's all like most unis doing it. So, yeah, we're playing for that. 
planning for that, doing, um, so we're organising that on the day. So yeah, the first of um, May. So yeah, it's gonna be good. And this is this is a, a, a an all day uh, basketball tournament. That's an invitational to all of the universities around Australia, isn't it? Yep. So yeah. So we we I don't know probably about six about. Six, uh, about three or four unis, I think, and about six each, about three teams each. So yeah, I can't, I'm not sure about. Yeah, so that'll be that'll be good. And at this point, we've been going some two and a half minutes, and there has not been a score at either end. Yeah. There's been a lot of ball handling errors from both teams at this stage. Into Mike Mc, McCarty. McCarty's shot is no good. Rebounded by number 14, Jamie Cigliani for. Uh, for Sandringham, back down to Luke Hughes. Luke's slowing it down. So he's <coughs> kicks it across to to Cal Charge. Great shot. Cal, yeah. Cal scores the two. Hatherley with the ball. Looks for Guscott. Guscott on the wing inside. Bad pass inside to the. He comes Charge coming in pass, and then there's a turnover there. And then um, number 42, and he scores, and he scores from there. It's good, that. Oh, and, no, and a quick that. turnover for Nathan Gustock picked the pockets. Back to Matt McCarthy, and Matt McCarthy has scored two baskets in, in 10 seconds. Yeah. Four points now for McCarthy. Okay, charge, the big man, three points. Uh, charge. Because McCarthy, McCarthy he scores a two there. Another one for McCarthy. He's on fire. And he gets the rebound. Passes the ball very, very quickly down the other end, and Falcons. Oh. It's uh, Denquani. Denquani is unable to get the shot. Almost gets the rebound, but Charge manages to wrestle it off him. Luke Hughes trying to keep the ball in, manages, but it comes off the the uh, Matt Crease, and it's a Falcons ball. He comes by on the tack. Into Guscott. Kwani can't pick up the ball as it comes in. That's the third third pass into Kwani that's gone off his fingertips. As McCarty nice picks up rebound. the rebound. Yeah. Nice rebound from McCarthy. Back with Kwani. Kwani holding it up. Hands it back to Heatherly. Over to Guscott. Guscott looks at the basket. Not on. Kicks Scott across to his teammate. Back to, back to Heatherly. And... Uh, Apparently there's a foul there. Sigliani is fouled on the way. Yep. So that's the first foul in three minutes. So wow. It's been a very messy start to mm. the game. Yeah, it's just a lot of turnovers. Yeah. So yeah, so um, hopefully they'll bounce back. Matt McCarty with the rebound. McCarthy. Yeah, he, no, he scores. Number eight for McCarthy. And then on the counter. Oh, nice rebound from Waverly. Nice. And then Will. Yeah, yeah so Dang, yeah. Gus got to Kwani. Kwani trying to, to come in under the, the uh, players, forces his way in and draws a foul. Subs, subs for the Sabres. So Sigliani goes, goes off, having off. fouled, and as does Luke Hughes. And we've got uh, Alex Lemons and uh, Matt Hirons. Hirons. Finally misses on the first. Nice shot. nice shot. Oh yeah, so here comes number five. Oh yeah. 
So um, Kriegs, Kriegs having a shot. He's going up. He's going up again. No, nice rebound. Oh, nice turnover by Max Tullow. He goes Matt Tullow. He's coming through, and he's passing to Tullow Quick. again. Quick ball and, movement. And, from and, the and nice uh, rebound number um, Deal. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Gus got, Gus got controlling the, the tempo, looks inside, sees heavily inside, heavily nice gets shot. the... the so, Hagley, nice yeah. shot for Hagley. Yeah. So, it's just two points for him. He comes here, and then he passes to um, Tolo. Tolo's got to take... Oh, it's a foul. Matthew Cartney, foul for Matthew Cartney, so free shot for Troll. Oh, Troll. Troll, oh, No, oh, no. Oh, sorry, I'm not. Um, Burke, sorry, Burke. So that's Waverley's first foul in the, in the first uh, six minutes. Nice shot from Burke. So Sandringham, Sandringham 100% on their foul shot so far. Two out of two. As Gus got drives, Gus finds good. Yo. He takes a shot. Oh, misses the shot. Gets his rebound. Nice rebound from um, Creed. Creed's controlling the tempo. Yep. Holding up, you know, slow the game down. Nice shot from Lemons. No, nice rebound. No, and then number here comes Burke. He scores. Yeah, nice he turn, turn over there. Gus Scott had his picket, pocket pick there as Dow goes down the other end. Waverley bench looking for a foul on that, but uh, it was a good block. So Denquani takes a break as Daniel Conkeller comes on and. Uh, Dow also for um, Corralwell. So, ball back. Yeah. I reckon I'm standing around, um, you know, controlling the game, you know. They, um, they're up the level a bit, so yeah, with the pressure, so yeah, so it's going to be good. McCarthy's shot doesn't go, and there's a jump ball. Ball will be with Sandringham. Here comes um, Kriegs, controlling it, and then it's come Lemons, and here comes um, Herons, no, nice, well, well nice rebound there. Pass to Heavily, with a rebound, sorry, to Heavily. Heavily spins, finds Gus got on the outside, Gus got spots up, two point shot doesn't go. Nice bit, Kriegs is not, he's on fire, he's going well, going to attack. Nice, nice Nick shot. Nick Herons, Nick, Nick Herons from the three point. He was left isolated out on the wing and Waverley didn't rotate quickly enough to get, get there on him. And nice. roll back, roll three back. point. Beautiful. So it's a three point game, 14 to 11. Here comes Charlie, here comes um, Herons. Here comes Creed again. Here comes Herons. Here comes Lemons. And here comes Creed again. He's attacking. Ah, oh, nice. Unfortunate now. Nice turnaround. Burke. Bok. Oh, no. Oh, he oh. missed it. Yep. Heavily, heavily picks up. Here goes Burke down. again. No, unfortunate. Missed it again. Here goes Lemons. Waiting for the nice long shot. Oh no, and nice scatter by oh, Herons. A nice nice shot from um, Burke, Matt Burke. So, good example of the extra effort there as, as uh, Sandringham drops back into his zone to try and stop the run of the, the Falcons. Uh, Matt McCarthy, McCarthy. No, spots outside, ball back, ball back, picks it up, 
Gets it to Hatherley. Hatherley drives across to Kinkella. Kinkella's two point shot is Lovely good. shot by Kinkella. Sandy Ramna is in the game, so, you know, it's, it's getting close. It's a three point game. Everything. Told his uh, attempt at the shot didn't go. Nice long shot there. On the other end, ball back. Ball He's back is scored. Yeah. The advantage of, of having someone running hard to get back down the court there is you've got that target under the under the basket and often an easy an easy shot. And that's one of the things that the Falcons are very good at doing. As Matt Burke takes on takes on Kinkella. He goes He goes Craig. And an up a, po a, foul. a foul. Foul against um ball back. No? Heavily. 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 Craig has been good. He has been good. Yeah, he's been in everything that Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, like rebounding, you know, and then setting up play, being creative. So yeah. That's why the um Sandra's in the game. Misses his first. Yeah. It's unfortunate, but hopefully the next one. That's it. And uh, Coach Mark Shivers gives him a rest. Yeah. Bringing well, uh, well Chivy Saramento on, onto the court for his first run. Again, staying in their zone. <laughs> Encouraging the Falcons to shoot from outside. Here comes um, um, San Mentro. Mentro, he's on. Here comes Lemons. Here comes Atomic. Here comes um, Sentimento. And here comes Lemons. It's a two. No. Um, for nice um, gather by um, Atomic. Here goes Sentimento. Sentimento. He's got. Yes, he did it. On the buzzer. On the buzzer. On the buzzer. Love the shot for Sentimento. Falcons defense there went to sleep. Well done. Two point game. Two point game. So Jeez. Ben, what what are the things that you've noticed out of the game so far? What are the things that you've noticed Ben out of the game so far? Um, the transition off Sandringham has been a bit stronger than Waverley's, and it's why the game is a bit close. Yep. So what is what has Waverley got to do to to uh, address that transition down there? Um, take care of the ball more and stop that transition. Yeah, so they want to get. They really need to watch their matchups there, don't they? So. Yeah. All right. So we'll uh, we'll take a quick break and and we'll be back in a second. Okay, so with uh, 39 seconds to go, we're back, and, uh, and what we'll do is we'll get uh, we'll give you a bit of a rundown of the the leading scorers at yep. the moment. So there you go. All right. So yeah. Um, so Matt McCarthy is is leading uh, the Falcons with eight points and uh, five rebounds. He's on his way to a double double there. Uh, and ball back has come oh, on with yes. a bit of in three three and a half minutes, nearly four minutes. He's come out and put five points in. But uh, for uh, for Sandringham, so for Sandringham, you know the um, um Burke, he's leading the way for uh, scoring six points, and um and then yeah, that's good. and then in the second will be um charge with five points. So yeah, so we need we need to rely on others to score as well. So yeah, so to be in the game, so that'll be good. So we're back into uh, into live action now, and uh, the ball's with Waverley at the half court. Again, 
Sandingham back into a zone. Matt McCarty steps out of uh, out of court. Wasted that opportunity there, really. There goes um, Semen, uh, Sem yeah. and here comes um, Herons controlling. The he got Sementon again, going for the attack, and now here comes Herons. No, Tiroli. And a big foul there from Matt McCarty. Which uh, you could see very clearly as he swiped his hands. One of the things that uh, coaches don't like to see the big men do is to actually swat at the, at the, at the ball yep. and get out of their cylinder. Love this shot from Tully. Doesn't get the first. Matt McCarty picks up the second, so it's one one more rebound close to his double double. Here goes Hedley. Here comes Cole. Here goes Hedley. Here goes McCarthy. McCarthy. No, he missed. Airballed it. Here goes Semento. Taking the attack on, and now here comes um, Heron. And it's out by um, um, Tomic. Yeah, so that was Nick Nichols out on the. Um, sorry, Heron's out out there on, in deep corner. He was set for a long period of time, and not one of the Falcons took note. Here goes Headley, controlling the play. Here comes Dell. Back to Gus Scott. Gus Scott to to. Uh, King Kinkler. King Keller, yeah. yeah. Pinkella is normally very good from, from that boat short. You go Semento. Taking the pass. You go Semento again. Pulls the ball out, creates just, some space. Just waiting, waiting for someone. And then it's um, bad turner from uh, Tolly. Just missed pass towards the boundary. And uh, and the Sandringham coach, Mark Shivers, has been not impressed with that because the the guys have done a very good job of getting the uh, Falcons defense out of shape. As it's a foul. Foul from um number from um Herons. Herons get picks up the foul, but he sends uh, Dan Kwani to the line. Then Kwani has not been uh, on song yet. He needs he needs to contribute. Lovely shot there. The Falcons are, have been fairly one dimensional in their scoring so far. So Lovely they need, need to get a couple of other players stepping up and yep. uh, causing headaches for the for the Sandingham bench. Here goes Tomic. Here goes Lemons. Coming through. And here goes Samanto. Good trying to play. And then he takes a shot. Lovely shot from Samanto. That's what Sandrian needed. Stay in the game. Stay close. Yeah. Falcons have dropped into a, into a zone of sorts. Looks like to be a match-up zone. And in that case, Haverly gave him too much room. Oh, no. Just another turnover. Oh. There. Yeah. Losing their way there, They're losing. The yeah, that was yeah. bad. Yeah, the whole thing, the turnover. Yeah, yeah. Just bad play from Denquani there. He he uh, didn't get down to the ball to the pass, get his hands on it, and in frustration he uh, he fouled. Much better defense there, nice and straight, and he's got the ball Lovely this time. Ball Rebound. That's now he's that's good. Good for him, you know. Redeemed himself there. Oh, lovely defense. Oh, it's out by um out by um Headley there. So Lemon's off and um and uh Tall is off. Samantha has been really good providing that spark.
Here goes Hermanto coming through. Having a bounce, hanging a shot. No. Lice gathered there. No. Unfortunate. Oh, lovely. Qu oh, it's a foul. Another foul on Den Kwani. Den Kwani, jeez. No, actually 21, so they've called it on bowl back. Yeah. So Manchester says it's been good. And it's a timeout time to, out, time out to That's Wavell. what Wavell needs. Just, yeah. You know, t the coach will just tell them that, you know, then, then just stop um, turnovering, you know, just, just relax. Yeah, so what do you think, uh, Ben, what do you think Mark Shivers is going to be telling his, his team the Sandringham team. Um, I reckon be talking about the matchup with what's the point guard of Sandringham. He's been doing quite a lot of damage in the last few minutes. And I think also I think they've got their their uh, inside uh, uh, Dan Kwani's head. I'm, I'd rather suspect they're going to be talking about uh, targeting him if Eric leaves him out on the court for a bit of time. Yeah. Because he's just showing a lot of uh, uh, frustration at the moment. So uh, yeah. So we'll be back in in a second. Okay, I'm back. and we're back, and we're back. And at this point in time, it's uh, looking like the game could go either way. Yeah. Falcons, uh, Falcons have led all the way through the game, but uh, but at this, it's only a one-point game at this yeah. point. Then with, um, uh, Waverly needs to just need to bounce back. Yeah. You know. And with uh, Saramento on the on the uh, the line, he can put put tie this game. Front. Yeah. Oh, unfortunate there from Saramento there. This is the first. first one. Would he get a second? Lovely shot from Samento there. Tired game. Yeah. Ball with Kwani. Over to Gus Scott. Gus Scott yes. down to Jow. Jow the and him. Oh, it's, a, it's a travel. Travels, so yep. Nice um, pressure from Sandringham. Saramento's been good coming yeah, on to replace yeah. Kreis. They haven't lost anything in the guard stakes no. there. It's a like to like. <laughs> As he floats the ball up, doesn't quite go, but he great hang time on that shot. Here goes Gus Scott. Gus Scott. Back to Haverly. Haverly. Here goes Kwani. Kwani. No, no, Kwani. Buzz it. Oh. Another turn, slow, sloppy play from um, Waverly there. Oh, he goes. Um, Gorgeous Jow. Jow. He goes. goes oh, yeah, a it's, a, it's a, a charge. Jow. Oh, come on. Yeah. That was always going to be a charge. Yeah. He, uh, Joel, yeah. Great defense from the Sandman yeah, player there. Perfect. They were on the way. They were on the way, on the tack. As our 16-2 guys jump into action to uh, look after the floor, so thank you very much to the 16-2 boys team, who are our uh, providing our court attendants and uh, the cameraman today. Here comes Giugani, Giugani, Giugani scored. No, I'm touching. He goes Kwani. He's been. He's been alright, but Luke Hughes he's all over back. him on that uh, rebound. He goes, Gascot 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 the love shot from Gascot. Gascot. That's what Wavy needs. You know, just steady the momentum. Just yeah, because Sanchez has been really good. So Falcons back into a man. Here's Giovanni. Nah. He goes charge, charge, charge is good. That's good. <coughs> yeah, charge just he goes powered, head powered dribbled into the floor, gave himself some space under the basket and it was too strong there for the Falcons. He goes head leap. Oh no. 
Just a sloppy play from Waverley. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. They are not handling the, yeah, the no. uh, zone at all. Yep. Just from the pressure from Sandringham. You guys say, man. You guys do. Kwani. 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 Oh, yeah. Has scored this time. Has scored. And has pulled up the f pulled the foul. Yep, so it'll be a um, one point back. So Matt Burke sends uh, Kwani to the line. So it'll be a first foul for Burke. This will be uh, six points for Kwani if he makes it. And he doesn't, so he's on five. Long ball from Tim Mencho. Here comes Burke. Lovely shot, lovely three, I think. And they've called it a two. Two, okay. Here goes Headley. Here comes, um, guess what? And he missed. And it's Bowlback who's come back onto the Mento. floor. And lovely, ring, and look, lovely run from um, Luke Hughes. Hughes. Luke Hughes. Liz Hughes, of, Hughes the uh, former Waverley Junior, spent time at uh, at the Tigers playing in their youth. He goes, Hitley again. He goes, Gascott, making a move. No, he's got past the Headley. He's got to take his three. Headley, he's done it. Headley's through. He's been good. Yep, so Hughes, Hughes uh, spent time with the Tigers youth men and it play, suited up a couple of games for the champ, Melbourne champ men uh, over the last couple of seasons. He goes Burke. He comes Hughes. Yep, so Mento making him make him move. No, he's going to take, take a shot there, take a shot. And it's a oh, lovely shot from Cemento. Unbelievable. Out of nowhere. Jeez. Daniel Killard. Daniel Killard. Jeez. So he's, um... Sarmento's got a great, great yeah. vertical leap, yeah. and he just hangs at the top of that, that oh, jump. Oh, unfortunate there. Ah. Oh. Quanto. No, uh, Quani. Out. Now it's still, um, Sandrian's ball, I think. Out by Quani. So it's one point game to Sandringham at this point. Lovely shot from Charge. Charge! What a shot. I think it's two. It's a two. Here goes Headley. They need to control the game. Wave the leader ball back down to Gascott. Gascott, Here goes Headley, Headley again. Yep. Here comes Gascott. Here comes Headley. He's taking a three, I think. Oh, I'm unfortunate there. Here comes Burke. Here comes Craig. He's back on. Here comes Burke again. Here comes Craig. Here comes Burke. And here comes Gazzagloni. And he scores number two for Gazzagloni. Here goes Headley. Been trying to play. Here comes Bok. Here comes Kwani. And here comes Headley. They're trying to go. This is great pressure from Sandra and this was shot from um, Headley there. Yeah, heavily, heavily driving baseline. Yep. Just found some space. Nice, simple little layup yep. to him. He's very good under the basket, Michael Heavily. As he gets oh, nice the rebound. rebound. Here comes Headley again. Gets nice steal on the roof. Nice steal there. Hill drives hard. And uh, it's, puts a, it's it a two. In. That's what they needed. Puts it in, draws the foul. And he goes to the line yep. for... he has been good for the, um, um, the Falcons. Yep. You know, providing that run and, you know, attack. Just just like um, Sermento, so, for the other team. Yeah. Yeah, the difference being is that, that uh, Sandringham's got a couple of options to go to. Unfortunately, yep. uh, yeah. Waverley's, Waverley's point guard options are... No, just are limited. Limited with this particular rotation. Oh, unfortunately missed it. He can't control it. He can't Creek. He can't Burke. He can't Gascoigne. Now he comes Creek. He comes Charlie. He comes Creek again. Just controlling the play. 
He goes for it. He's going for the money. He's going to score. Yes, he's going for it. There we are. Work shot there from Creed. He goes head leap. He goes Gasco. Now it's just Burke. Ball back out. Headley's going to have He's taking attack. He's taking attack. Oh, he goes Burke. Lovely pass from Headley. Not unfortunate there. Here comes um, Burke. Oh, oh great right pass from Luke Hughes. Luke down in deep corner. Realised he had a player cutting in under the basket yeah. and very quick ball move. Unfortunately, uh, Falcons player just able to get their, their hand in, in the way. Yeah, just and, set, yeah. yeah. So, um, time out. So, um, so time ground. out. And we'll have a very, very brief time out as well. Uh, with a minute and 20 on the uh, game clock, 19 on the shot clock, we're, uh, we're back for the finish of the second half. It is a three point ball game, and uh, what we're finding is that. Uh, so, yeah, so, yeah, so if you're watching the live stats as well, there seems to be a, a point difference at this point between the uh, live stats and the uh, in-court scorers. So we'll sort that out at half time for you. Yeah. But it is, according to the official scorers, it's a three-point game, not a four-point game. Here goes Kwani. Yeah, Kwani to Haverly. Haverly spots up outside, doesn't go, he spins. Around. And then he's, he's changing to a spot. And, oh. and unfortunately, a little bit of uh, miscommunication between the two teammates there. As uh, With, um, yeah, Jason Kappa. Kappa, Kappa yeah. Yeah. No basket there as the uh, Falcons didn't manage to get the ball in within the time. Right. Being um, hot. He come. Hughes at the top of the key kicks the ball across to his teammate in Burke. It's now with the, the point guard, uh, Kreese. Oh, no, Shot good, yeah. goes in, doesn't go, but. Uh, yeah. Nice Falcons, play. Nice Fal one. Yep. Yeah, Falcons very quickly yeah. rebounded down the other end, but again, again, this zone really causing all sorts of issues for, uh, for the Falcons. So out by the um, uh, Kappa. Yeah, at least he was getting in there uh, as the ball goes up, which is what the Falcons haven't been doing so far. Uh, Hughes controlling it. Craig. Here um, Burke. And it's a foul on Kwani, and it'll be a two yeah. point, two shots. Yep. They need to stop um, fouling on um, turnovers from um, Waverly. So yeah, so yeah, just it's, stay in the game. It's the undisciplined fouls that have mm. actually hurt the most. Yeah, uh, that that ball was nowhere going to go. He did not need to foul on that shot. Mm. Meantime, meantime, that's now cost at the other end. Yep. So having it's really if he gets this, that's a four point turnaround really for the for the uh, Sandringham Sabres. No, it's a three point. He has cap up. Oh, Kwani's pass, no yeah. good. I don't know, he's just being like, I don't know, just laziness. I don't know, he's just not. Just he's not in the game. Yeah. He's not feeling it. like. And the body language is showing it at yeah. the moment, too. So. No, just, the coach is sit, put, put, uh, should bench it. Like, just give him a rest. Mm. You know. So as we go to the break, as we go to the break, it's a five point game. Sandringham up by uh, 
up by five, and we'll be back in five ourselves. Uh, and with a rundown of the uh, stats in the game so far from from our uh, team here, uh, and we'll yeah. leave you with a, a word from one of our sponsors. Okay, welcome back. We're uh, with just under five minutes to go. 
Uh, we'll run through some of the leading scorers yeah. and rebounders for you. So, yeah, so for the um, Waverly Falcons, uh, Kwani on eight points. And um, for Sandram, it's um, Burke with nine points. And um, for the, the most rebounds, uh, McCarthy for Falcons. And um, for Sandram, for, um, Burke with three. The assist players um, for um, Waverly Falcons, uh, Gaskop, um, three assists. And then uh, for Sandram, with um, Burke with two assists. So, yeah, so we need more assists from the uh, Sandram. So, yeah. And um, for the blocks, um, Burke, one block. Only block for the only block, only play with blocks. Uh, and, um, and, for, and Burke with uh, Sandram with one block. And then for the steals, you know, mostly for uh, um, Sandram. So, steals for, the, for Sandram is uh, charged for three, three steals. And for... St for um, Waverley, it's um, McCarthy with three as well. So, but um, Sandra is doing most of it, and so Manchu with three um, still as well. So this is that's why um, Sandra is in um, good position because they're pressing him and steals and um, yeah, so that, that's why um, they're in the lead. And um, Waverley needs to um, stop that. And control the play, and um, yeah, yeah. So the uh, the issue that uh, we had Falcons had was that they ended up with uh, eight fouls for that uh, for that particular half uh, against uh, the six for six for uh, uh, Sandringham, and uh, and that actually hurt them quite a bit because uh, it put uh, Matt McCarty uh, there their leading uh, rebounder and, and dominant big man at this point uh, on the bench. Uh, Eric not being prepared to risk him in that first half and get too many fouls on him, so sat him down there. Smart move, smart move. Yeah. Whereas, uh, whereas Mark Shivers had the, had the luxury of being able to rotate his players in and out, none of them seriously getting into any kind of foul trouble. Uh, or Matt, uh, James Signiani, uh, and, uh, and Matt Crees are the only two, but he's got plenty of, of ammunition on the bench to cover them along the way. Oh. Uh, we seem to just be having a bit of trouble with our stream at the moment, so we'll, uh, we'll just be back with you in a second on that. So yeah, so as they as they go. So Ben, uh, things that you you think the Falcons should be looking at doing to uh, to get back into this game? Um, I reckon our uh, number four for Sandringham, he's gonna we want to see an interesting matchup for him. I'm sure they'd be worried about him. Um, the transition hurt him a bit as well, and as you were saying, foul trouble. <laughs> Yeah, so, so again, a great position for Mark Shivers, the Sandringham coach, to be able to, to, be able to put uh, uh, Sarmento on for Crees, knowing that he's probably got another couple of quick guards there as well. And, and you know, they, they've been giving him uh, quite a lot. So um, both of them been picking up, picking up rebounds, both of them uh, with stats on assists. Uh, Saramento with three steals for the game. Uh, that's that's yeah. considering the amount of time he's had. Seven minutes. Yeah. Seven minutes and three steals, two rebounds, uh, seven points. So his efficiency rating is yeah. is uh, is huge at this do point reckon, in time. Yeah. Do you reckon they should um, pressure him or stop him? Because he's not. If he's getting, if he gets the ball, he's going to be like, he's going to damage, um, create spaces and um, scoring. So I think you should. That should uh, try and pressure him and stop him. Yeah, they certainly need to. They certainly need to get the ball out of his hands and yeah. uh, along the way. The same with Cree. They yeah. just need to get get the ball in, in uh, yeah. other other players' hands. But the other thing that's been hurting them too, Ben and Nero, is the is the is the, uh, the zone of Sandringham. Um, the Falcons have have not been trying to penetrate into that zone at all. Yeah. All they've been doing is trying to jack shots up from outside, and as they do it, I think I think really the only player that's been consistently getting in there to rebound 
was in his very short period of time on the on the court there was uh, Jason Kappa. Yeah. As we're into the third, the third, and uh, here comes Craig. Foul. And it's an offensive foul this time against the Sabres. As the Falcons bring it down through heavily. Just Running wait. A double, double set. Now they're looking at to, to use some sort of a zone buster. And they get it into, into McCarty. Okay. McCarty goes McCarty up and scores. And scores. Now it, However, the thing that concerned me about that particular set was the bit of confusion amongst the big guys. It's down the other end. And then good, good rebound from um, McCarty. McCarty picks up another rebound. He goes Buck. Out to McCarty again. Back out good. to Buck. Haley's been good. He's got to go for it. He's got to go for it. And he's got... No, unfortunate there. Actually, there it's, it's, uh, it's actually down, not Buck. Lovely shot yeah. from um, Charge. Lovely shot from Charge. And that's his second three points, yeah. I think. Just control the game. Here goes Kwani. Oh, I'll watch it there. Luke Hughes with the rebound, drives all the way down the court, gets it to Charge, and, and Charge is two points. Yeah, Wavy needs to be smart about this, you know, trying to find space. And yeah, that shot from Kwani came up with the, with yeah. about 14 seconds yeah. on the shot clock. Elliot. So no chance to actually run so through. So foul. It. Yep. So foul from um, charge. Yep. Yeah. So again, there was no chance on to uh, run through yeah. an offense. Now they got 14. Back with McCarty. Back with Guscott. Okay. Guscott will organise them. Yeah. And taking a three shot there. Oh no. Doesn't go. Uh, he let me down yeah. there because I wanted him to, to yeah. actually use his time, get that get the shot clock down. Alright. Lo gets oh, the, no. rebound gets the rebound and draws another foul. From um just get 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 the Sigliano. Sigliano. Sigamini. Sigamini, sorry. Yeah. Hard to pronounce his name. <laughs> Oh, uh, Sizzle again, a good, nice stick seal there. Now he's on the reap, on the, on the attack. Cree pulling everything back, asking, just... Charge. And then Luke Hughes floater Hughes. doesn't go as, as and there's another McCarthy. rebound to McCarty, yeah. Oh, McCarty. no, nice, nice pressure there. I just don't think um, Waverley had the structure. Just, just when they on, when they attack, there's no structure. You know, just they can't. Oh, they have to rely on threes, and not they're not getting threes. So yeah, it's troubling them in the forward. So out by um, Kwani. So. Um, Charge is taking it. Craig. Burke. Taking a shot that night. Nice and inception by um, McCarthy. Oh. Yep. Gus got, Gus got getting off the ground. Yeah. So, Ben, what does your coach say about getting off the ground under the basket? Um, well, we have a big guy in our team, actually, um, Hugh. He tends to jump at a lot of fakes and basically keep your feet and go straight up is the tip. Uh, yep. And Nathan Guscott should definitely have taken that tip because, of course, he got up in the air yep. and they... Love Matt Burke uh, uh, the there. foul. He goes, 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 gets the lead up. No, um, it's charge. charge. Yeah. And then Craig. Um, charge. Just hold, helling up. Craig is controlling it. Having, it. having a shot there. Now he's having a shot. Lovely shot from Craig. 
Just too good. Defenses can't do anything about it. Helen needs to create um, creativity in the team. So, yep. Lovely shot from um, Kwani. Kwani. Yep, that's what why we need. But I need more from him. Um, Hughes, Burke, waiting for it. Here goes Hughes. Here goes Burke. Burke scores. Lovely shot. Lovely technique for the um, three pointer there. Hadley. Hadley controlling it. Yeah. Back to Hadley. Kwame sets the screen. Hadley drives. And Burke. Lovely shot from Burke, but it's a foul. <coughs> oh, the travel. Yep. Yeah. And the subs are in. So Kwani kind of steps down. Yeah. Karay Wall and uh, Ball back coming back onto the onto yeah. the court. Craig. He's charge. He Craig passes to Burke. Oh, a lovely back pass. Nearly stolen. He goes Hughes. Oh, it's a foul. Or yeah, foul. Foul. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the difference is with uh, San Jose's attack is um, going perfect there. And um, the other end, um, just the pressure and the defensive from San Jose is not letting um, Gravely score as twos. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And it belongs one of threes. Yeah, and the other thing too is that um, a couple of the Falcons players not switching on the screens. Yeah. So we saw a situation there before where uh, Dan Kwani, um, his player, set the screen mm. and uh, Cree came, came off the screen, Deng, uh, yeah. Deng backed away from the, uh, yeah. the drive mm. and opened it up as Nathan Gus got fouls. fouls yeah. Second. Okay, 15 seconds on the shot clock to Sandringham. Yep. Lovely long pass there. Here goes Burke. He passes to Krieg. Finding space. And there's Trying to go through. No, oh, lovely pass. Burke, he's on fire. And he's... Oh, unfortunate. And lovely alley hoop. Charge. 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 Not oh, actually, no, it's not. It's Alex Tom. Oh, it's Alex Tom. Oh, Thomas. Lemons, yeah. Lemons, yeah. Sorry about that, but yeah. Hilly. Gus got with Gus a long three. Oh, Doesn't see. go. Picked yeah. up oh. by uh, De oh. Kwani. Fallback. No. Fallback. Hilly. Love. Oh, unfortunate there. A lovely ca um, catch by um, Charge. Yeah. Charge, yeah. Nearly stolen yeah. by McCarty, but yeah. Charge was strong enough to hold the ball. Luke Hughes Luke from Hughes. deep corner. Oh, lovely points. Hilly. At this point, the Falcons look a little bit out of ideas. Yeah. As, uh, as yeah. Yeah. Eric calls the timeout. So they're heavily relying on Haley's um, um, run and creativity for the Falcons. So just a one man, one player, one man band there. So it is indeed. And we'll uh, be back in a second uh, and we'll start to run through some of the stats for you. Okay, with uh, 4 minutes 30, uh, 37 on the clock, uh, it's uh, jumped out to a, uh, a rather large lead, 52 to 35, Sandringham with the uh, box seat at the moment. So, uh, run us through a couple of the key stats there. So, us. yeah, for the points, so um, for Waverley, you know, it's, um, it's draw with um, Headley and um, McC oh. McCarthy. Uh, yeah. 
sorry, yeah, sorry, if you can't hear, but yeah, so Waverly um, with the um, leading point scorer for, so Headley McCarthy with 10. No, sorry about that, um, Kwani and McCarthy with 10, so yes, and they're heavily relying on them. And for the, um, for the Sandringham, it's um, Burke with um, 15. Foul on um, charge against charge. Yeah. First personal for him. Puts Kerr Awal at the line. Love the shot. Left hander. Love. That's good. Um, yeah. Well, they need more. F they need more from that. So lemons, Creek, <coughs> dribbling it through. Nice pressure from Head Headley. Goes Creek, crank space, scores. Lovely from Creek. Number two, two points for him. Headley, the star player. Gasco, I think. He goes Kerr. Kerr, I think. Burke, yeah. That's got to AWOL. AWOL drives through traffic. Oh, lovely steal from um, Burke. Yeah, bad choice of shot there as McCarty gets his hand in, nearly gets Damn the steal. It. Down the other end, we're back with Cree. Cree's uh, looks over. Oh. over Tolly. To oh, lovely from Kerr. Lovely. And he's got a dunk. Lovely. AWOL gets the dunk. Okay. Oh well, oh sorry, oh well. <coughs> so Matt Crease settling things down. McCarty almost a steal then, again. Better rotation that. from the Falcons here. Better defence too, they're on one and one. So let's put pressure on um, Sandram a bit. Um, and McCarty Cole. with another block. Okay. Because and Great defense from McCarthy That's, there. Yeah, better Force, from Waverley. Yeah. Forces uh, a 24-second shot clock violation. Yep. That's what they need more, do more of, you know. And they need it. They need to do that. Yeah, Adley off the screens. There goes and Gasco. there's Gasco with three points. There's three points, yep. That's what they need. Uh, Sammy Mento is back on. Sammy Mento. Oh, Take oh, foul. Go. So, Tech, tech foul against the uh, Sabres bench. I don't know what that was for. Did did you notice anything, guys? Um, I think there was a bit of language involved in the last call. Okay. As Nathan Gascott is unable to uh, convert. Lovely shot. And he's uh, got it back uh, by a point. Still a 54-43 lead. 11-point lead to the Sabres. Hatherley drives, comes off the screen, gets it into AWOL. AWOL, can, AWOL cannot control the pass and uh, picks up a three-second violation. Yep. Nice pressure from Sandra. Falcons extending their D down the court now. Here on, here on, Cemento. Back on the court. Getting Crease arrest. Lemons back to Cemento. He drives, spins, he drives. jumps, and, the shot. and puts it in there again. And it's a foul. Yep. Foul from Cam Again, just that 
Just that hang time. Oh, yeah. oh unfortunate, missed it. Nice um, gab, nice rebound by the toe. Nice scattered it. It's a it's a real skill to be able to get to the top of your your jump. Hold the ball until you just start to come back down again, but get that shot off before you come down. And that's what this man has got. As he goes again. Oh, and again. oh unfortunate. Lovely. Great rebound, rebound there. By um, Tolol. Tolol. Yeah, Tolj. Tolj coming in yeah. against traffic. Gets the rebound. Mark Shivers has got these guys uh, playing extremely well at this point in time. Surprising that they're actually not doing better on the on the la ladder. Because Gasco, Gasco, no, shot doesn't go. Told to picks it up. rebound there. He goes Tolly, Semento, Tolly again. Oh, charge! There's a charge. Charge yeah. it. Gus got. Yeah. Gus got got into good position. Nice um defense by um Gasco. Gasco. Again, if they, the, the refs see the contact right down the centre of the body, that will always be called as a charge. Yep. Yeah, Wave is going, um, in, starting to improve a bit with their defence, so, yeah, and that's what they need. To Again? Yep. So, to stop the um, flow from um, Sandram. It's going to require a huge effort from here. 13-point yep. deficit at the moment. As Haverley drives... Weaves his way round, gets, oh, and gets uh, through traffic, gets looks for his teammate, and his teammate Sands were not up in position. Oh, yep. So Gio. McCarty drives, can't get through the zone, decides to oh, and stop. Yep. Had to, go. he had to. Can't do anything about it. Again, his teammate not stepping in to, uh, to help out there, as Gus got great pressure on, on the player there. Here goes um, Hughes. No, Hurons, Hurons. Hurons, taking a shot. No. He's Read down my tolls. No, look, tolls. No. Tom no, Evans. Oh, for Jet. Have a nut. Gasco. Running in. Taking a shot. Oh, lovely touch by Lemons. And then it's a um, great shot by um, Riccardi, yeah. Riccardi. On the third, on the third rebound yeah. on that shot. Mm. On that. Uh, you go, Samanto. Crane space. He goes, Tolly. Having a run, having a dash, and ah. Oh. And McCarty's picked up the foul. Yep. Fouls are killing him. And that's that. Uh, that's going to mean Matt will take a break because that will be his fourth. Yep. This is this is absolutely dangerous for wide Yeah. <coughs> they can't afford to, uh, to lose a player. No. Mm. Oh, I tell you, unfortunate. Lovely from Charlie. Told to pick. Picks up another basket. Yep. He's starting, start, particularly this quarter, he's starting to impose himself on the game. Mm. Can't walk to passes to Headley. Have lead the ball back, ball, ball back, back, a little ball back. jump up, beautiful. Ball back. So it's a 10, 10, 10 point game, 9 point game. Yeah, um, the coach is happy about it, being, giving a clap to them, you know, just improve it. Well, improvement from um, Waverley, defence-wise. Yeah, so it's a 47-56 game, uh, yeah. according to the scoreboard. They need to um, attack, um, improve their um, when they go forward so to score. So, yeah, so, yeah it's, it's, a, it's, it's a good start. It's a good start for the Waverley. And uh, hopefully they can uh, get it back, uh, just as the uh, champ men did yesterday uh, against McKinnon. If they can wind it back this half, uh, we... Should be in for a cracker, mm. and we'll be back in a second.
All right. Um, we're back uh, with ready for the uh, final quarter. Falcons are leading in rebounds, 28. Oh, no, sorry. Sabres are leading in rebounds, 31 to 28. So uh, as you could hear from the quarter, and perhaps you could hear from the quarter announcer there, that uh, not only are the uh, Sabres leading on the board there, 56 to 47, but they're also leading the rebound count. We're trying to just pull up the... Uh, the stats, we're just having a bit of trouble with that at the moment. Um, but we will bring them to you as soon as possible as the game gets underway again in the fourth period. And of course, uh, Falcons TV is, is uh, brought to you by uh, Avermedia's Avameda Streaming Solutions, Mind IT, Mind IT Systems. And uh, Bendigo Bank. Go back. Oh, I thought you there. They need it. They need a score, but no, he missed it. Benigo Bank, uh, straight forward. So Play mental. safe, life care, mm -hmm. and uh, and build skate Victoria. So Lemon taking a shot out long range. Oh, oh. He scored! What a shot by yeah. um, Charge. Jeez, from long range. And that got the... Uh, and a lovely um, from Lemons. Lovely, re lovely rebound there. That had the Sandringham bench uh, on, the, on the floor. He goes charge goes. again. Oh, on foot. He's on fire. Haley coming through. Attack. Oh, no. No one's helping him out, but he got one got. Oh, come That's on. stolen by charge. Charge. And then... Um, Heron scores. Here goes Kwani. Oh, oh, it's a charge. No, no, no. It's a foul. It's a foul, yeah. Wow. What a quick start from um, Falcon. No, Sagan. Yeah. Lemons, Lemons was reaching in the, yeah. from the side there. If he'd left it alone, it would have been a charge. So, unfortunate there for, uh, yeah. for him. Falcon's trying to lift the tempo, obviously, yeah. running the floor a lot harder, but... Um, so far, it's been oh, it's been all of the momentum really with yeah. the uh, the Sandringham Sabres. He gets Ronnie. He just needs to compose with this. Oh no, baskets no. there! Lovely rebound from Lemons. Love as Kinkella no, no. Kinkella puts no. good pressure yeah. on. Smart play from Kinkella. He, he put enough sure. pressure on to to make it a tough shot without fouling, then picks up the rebound. Guani finding someone, yep. Here's Gasco. A lovely shot by um, Bomak, and he misses from three. And the foul, I think, on Gus got. Yep. It's his third. Yep. From Gasker. Oh, that's, yep. So, yeah, while it looked a good shot from Bolback, I would Perfect. question question the uh, the time there. So, mm, yep. I think we're out. Oh, lovely um, touch. Lovely steal from Kwani. He scores some hot. Lovely. Send down the dunk from Kwani. That's what he needs. Here comes Burke. Oh, Heron. He's going, going in. And then Lemons. Oh, it's a foul. Foul from, um, um, what's the number? Um, Kingler. Kinkella, Dan. Kinkella, yeah. yeah. Daniel Kinkella picks yeah. up his second. But it's lovely steal from um, Connie, so yeah, to score from there, so that's good. Just keeping the game. But now um, Lemon's taking the shot for two. Lovely. And he shoots. Well done. He's converted both of those shots. Yep. Well structured by um, Saban with the defense there. He goes bow back. Gasco, Gasco. He's, he's driving through. 
He needs to pass it back. Yep. And Boback is. No. Boback misses it. Unfortunate there. And then Quan. And it's good touch. Good one shot. Um, one hand shot from Quan. Craig. Burke. Charge. Gus. He's coming through. And he's going to score. Oh, not. Great work there from uh, Gus Scott. Yep. King Keller not able to pick up the rebound. But lovely. Back with yeah. Preeze. Preeze drives. Kicks it out to his teammate on deep corner. Deep doesn't go. Right. King Keller gets the hand in. Oh, it's a trip. Yeah, that's, that will be a foul. Yep. So the foul there on Nick Hurons, it wasn't uh, intentional Hurons, at yep. all. That will always be called that one. Mm, yep. He goes up. So again, have a leap. Have a leap. Here go. Go back, driving it through. Come on. Head leap. Big three. No. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. He goes Burke. Driving it through. Krieg. He's going to pass to um, Heron. Hopefully. Yep, Heron's there. He goes through. Oh, it's a foul? Yep. Foul on Ben Kwani. Yeah, Kwani, yeah. Having a dirty day for Kwani. He needs to yeah, get step third. up. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Matt McCarty coming back on again. He gives Ken Keller a rest. Mm. Okay. He goes Heron. He's taking his two. Uh, Daniel shouldn't uh, get too uh, settled on the bench there because uh, Matt's only got one foul to give. Well, I suspect he'll be back onto the court very quickly. Good shot by right Heron. It's still an 11 point game. Yeah, still in it. They're still in it. No. Just needs to fix up the defense and the attack. They need to get a lot more uh, going inside rather than just chucking up shots from outside. Yep. So, uh, Ben, have you been finding that the opposition players have been playing much zone against you? Uh, in my league? Yeah. Um, yeah, we have faced a few zones in the season, yep. But um, without being too okay, cocky, shot. Nah. we have um, defeated them. Yep. Of course, uh, this year in VJBL, the uh, zone has been uh, banned in the under-12 competitions all the way around. And uh, so Nathan has picked up his fourth That's good. foul. Yes. So yeah, uh, the the reason the reason uh, that um, they've done that is is to try and. Wait uh, on Burke. He's got it. He's got it. Number two. Two points for them. How many points have Burke? Got? Try and improve the uh, the uh, defensive skills yeah. of the younger kids. And Boke, Bokak, Bokak. He goes, um, Kwani. He's going inside. Ah! Oh. And it's the a foul. Trip. Foul, yeah. yeah. I, I love the way Haley's going around. Going on, see? He's Hopefully, just trying, yeah. go, trying to go in. Well, he's going, he knows that it's um, three shot. Three point lot, three points not gonna happen, so two points could be good. And he's gonna get one. Yeah, and that's what what the Falcons haven't done this no. game, is that they haven't attacked in the zone. Yeah. So Heavily gets Heavily. the ball. He drives, kicks it out. Back. Ball back to Heavily. He drives. Oh no. Nice. Oh. Lovely block from Burke. But projection. That's the danger of the small guys going in against the, yeah. the big guys, is that they will get that. Yeah. Burke. Oh, lovely. Lovely shot. The coach is happy about it. Quan. Yeah. Oh. Unfortunate for him. Unfortunate. Lovely long pass by Burke. And, no, unfortunate from um, Kelly Aquino. He goes Haley. Haley's great Boak. move inside, Boak. outside Boak. to... Lovely uh, from Boak. 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 
Bowl back, takes a couple of uh, dribbles to shorten the mm. distance and makes no mistake. Mm. One of the things that the Falcons have been doing is, is uh, expecting a, a number of their players to, uh, back into the team from overseas, mm. which will... Uh, Great. But if they're not very careful, they, they uh, run the risk that uh, even with, with mm. their playing socks boosted, they... Uh, mm. They will be too too low down on the ladder yep. to get going as Dean Kwani fouls again Kwani. and Jeez. puts uh, Kreese at the line. How many fouls that um, Kwani has right now? Like four or five? That's his third. Third, okay. I actually thought it was his fourth, but yeah. they've only put three up on the board there. It's very undisciplined. He needs to work on, but yeah. Yeah, he didn't move his feet. He just yeah. swatted around trying to get that steal. Great. Yeah. Now it's out to a 15-point game, soon to be mm. 16, the way that Creek has been uh, shooting. Love the shot. Oh, I thought it then. In and out. There's Gascott. Gascott to Gascott. McCarty Nothing. and then a travel. Travel. Yep, travel there. Yep. So Wally uh, Enor coming on for his first run uh, today. He, Eleanor. Uh, yeah. Eleanor. Okay. Eleanor, yeah. yeah okay. Eleanor gives uh, Dean Kwani uh, a rest. Probably we won't see Dean for the rest of the game, I would suspect. Yep. Yes, and Mentor. He can throw Hughes. So Mento is going for three. Oh, no. It is. He goes Burke on fire. That was Hughes. Again. Lemons. Again, Sandingham. Oh, I love. Good pressure from Waverly there. Good pressure. Sandingham being very patient in their offense, using yeah. the clock. See. That's the difference with it. just rushing it um, way away, but on the way they yeah, attack. But yeah, this is beautiful. Yeah, we are. Well, Wally. First touch of the game, he gets three points. Yeah, I hope it's to continue with that, you know. Oh, no. Another rebound to McCarthy. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Have a it. Oh, yeah, it's a foul from Gillione, I think. Against Gillione. Yep. Yep, all right. Yeah. No, it was on Sarmento. Oh, okay. Oh, Sarmento. Yeah, I thought it was. Uh, yeah. yeah, no, I thought it was a big man, too. Yeah. So. Oh, well. He goes to Heli, he's been really good. Oh, unfortunate there. This is yeah, it's critical miss there. Well, with two minutes 41 on the shot clock and a 12-point uh, a uh, gap, Hughes. it was really important to uh, get those shots in and they didn't go. Go go the other end. Colorino, well shot there, good shot there, number two. Down the other end, the sa the Sabres make no mistake. Hadley again yeah, with the ball, he'll drive. He's trying, he tries hard out. Yep. And he's fouled. Yeah. Again, Saramento uh, has fouled him. Yeah. Hadley goes to the line. Two of the young players on the squads. Hatherley 17, Saramento only 19. So both of them have got a, a uh, long career in, in uh, the under 23 competition ahead of them. Yeah, um, Wavy has missed some shots from the two point line, you know. Just critical misses. A lovely block from um, Great, McCart Great steal there from uh, McCarty, but. Yeah, it's a lovely block from Gasco too. Gasco, yeah. but yeah, but Sam Mentor's um keeping the ball now. Yeah. 
McCarty up on the on the guard. He gets back on Luke Hughes. Hughes just enough to uh, take the take the uh, edge off the shot. Ball back, driving it down. He looks to, to shoot and is fouled. fouled yeah. He'll go to the line. So uh, bow back. Yeah, I, I just yeah I believe that they should just um, yeah take some score a um, couple of days you know to get in the game but yeah, yeah they keep missing him. Yeah, uh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Go back. So the Sabres uh, bringing the changes on their bench again. Mm. Yeah, going, going through. Here on. Ah. Oh. And uh, it comes off of Waverly uh, player, so it's uh, that's uh, McCarthy. Yep. yep. Here on. Luke Hughes. Luke Hughes. And he's fouled by uh, Bo Bo back. back. Yeah, just uh, fouls. Repeat, repeat fouls um, from uh, Waverley. Oh, now, they, now they're taking a uh, two point line there. Two point uh, three there. So, yeah. That's that's costing him badly. Here comes Hughes. Love his shot. Yeah, the difference is he. he um, Taking his opportunity to score there compared to uh, Waverley with um, Haley and um, Bobax missing a couple. I love a shot from uh, Hughes there. Yep, guiding traffic uh, from Haley, trying to guide traffic, and yeah. Foul and crease this time. So it takes Haley back to the line again. Yep. With a minute 23 on the shot on the game clock, uh, it could be a very, very long <laughs> minute and 23 yeah. seconds. Just I'm saying about every, um, yeah. Yeah. every contact, every foul is going mm. to take people to the line now. So I'm just saying that that, like, he's he, um, missing them, those it's, easy Yeah, it's been quite shots. crucial, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah. So it's crucial for, for Waverley. Because yeah. they've, been, they've been good, like, in the, this, this half, this quarter, this half, so yeah. That could come close if they scored, but yeah, nah. but that turns it in. I mean, that turns it into a four-point game, and, mm, and yeah. uh, there's a travel there from uh, Sam McCarthy from McCarthy. Yeah. yeah. Oh well. May do some training um, during the week. Yeah. Practicing um two-point line. <laughs> yeah. Because Greg. Lovely shot, lovely touch. Oh, lovely re rebound from um, Headley, and a lovely shot from um, Gascott. Fast break there. Oh, Kirkolino lost a touch there. Lost, uh, lost some touch there from um, Kirkolino, and um, and it's a turn uh, turnover from Gascott. And uh, maintain possession from uh, Savi, um, Sandram. Now Cruz is slowing the game down, I think. And it's all done. And it is. The interesting thing there that uh, the uh, shooting stats weren't too dissimilar from, the, from both teams. Waverley shooting at 40% from the field. Uh, Sabres at 67, at uh, 42%. But uh, the difference being that, that Waverley only put up 61 shots and uh, Sandringham 67. But where the big difference was was in the, the uh, free throw percentage. Yeah. Uh, Waverley picking up 4 out of 16 yeah. and, uh, and the Sabres at 25% and Sabres picking up 6 out of 15 at 40%. So yeah. huge difference there. Um, outside, the uh, Sabres... Eight, uh, Absolutely outclassing the uh, the 
uh, Falcons at, at 14 to 26, with the uh, Falcons only converting eight of their 20 attempts at outside. So really, that's that's been the, the story of the game. Foul count pretty similar, 20 to 18. So they can't complain about that too much. It really was just the hustle there mm. of the uh, of the of the yeah. Sabres. And, and to my mind, the inability of the Falcons to respond to the, the Sabres zone. Which mm. Sabres, apart from a very short period at the beginning of the game, did not get out of zone for the entire game. Falcons yeah. not able to respond to that whatsoever. Yeah, um, yeah just from the attack from Waverley, like, just didn't they always have to rely on threes, like, just because of the pressure of Sandrian. Mm. And, yeah, and, and also that, yeah, so... Yeah. All right, and we'll uh, we'll take a break now. We'll be back in half an hour with the uh, Champ Men game. So thank you very much for watching, and hopefully you'll stay online to watch the top of the table clash. This is a grudge match between perennial uh, rivals Ringwood versus versus, versus Waverley, and uh, with Waverley coming off a, a fairly unexpected loss last night, Ringwood having been pushed all the way to the wire, this should be a cracker of a game. So we'll be back in half an hour with, with uh, that particular game. Thank you, and we'll see you shortly.